Good morning, everyone. We are on week four of the memory verses. And like I said last week, I've just so enjoyed this section. Just finding out more about the, what the Bible says, delving into God's word. And today the, the Bible verse comes from the book of Psalms. Now, I love the book of Psalms. It's actually quite easy to read as well. Um, I'm sure if you hear some of the scripture from Psalms, you would recognize it. It's filled with worship, songs of worship to God. And um, I just really love this, this uh, book in the Bible. So Psalm 56 verse 3, it's also very simple. I love simple, quick, punchy verses because it means that we can learn them easily and it hopefully sticks in our head. It says this. When I am afraid, so you know what is going to come. Well, there needs to be a second part of this, this sentence. When I am afraid, what do you do? The psalmist writes, I put my, and I'm going to put that in capitals because we've touched on this before. I think in week two we did trust in the Lord with all your heart. So this word trust is coming up again. I put my trust in you. So the first part is, when I am afraid, I put my trust in you. Psalm 56, verse 3. And I'm going to read um, a little part from my daughter's Bible. I wish, oh geez, when I was a child, I could have a, had a Bible like this. It's filled with so many beautiful coloring pages. And I encourage the children that come to Sunday school to bring their Bibles along and to fill it with color. Get highlighters, get crayons, mark off the verses we're doing. Mark off verses when you're reading on the side here that mean something to you. Little life lessons because the uh, a wonderful Bible is a used Bible. And one day when you're flipping through and you may be feeling whatever, sad or anxious or whatever, you, that these things that you've highlighted many t uh, months, years before actually pop out at you and maybe ne you need to read them then. So this one is in entitled God Gives Strength. And it's such a simple and beautiful way of putting it. Have you ever had to do something you were not sure you could do? like delivering a speech in school or running in a relay race or swimming in a gala, it is scary because you do not know if you have what it takes to do it. God says that he will never ask you to do anything you cannot do. Whatever he asks you to do, he will always give you the strength and abilities you need to do it. Now that touches on the verse we did last week about you can, I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. God will give you the strength you need to accomplish the things that he's planned for you. He will help you every step of the way. So you do not have to be scared to do what God asks you to do. He will be there for you and help you. Just as a little personal testimony, at the moment in our house, there's a lot going on between all five of us, but specifically the children, it's test week, it's orals, it's mondelings, it's also vocab, it's there's so much, and be besides the sport and the culture and whatever. And my one child was feeling quite overwhelmed last night and um, got a bit teary and just said, like, I can't do this. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know this work. I, because that's a real feeling. And I'm sure a lot of you have maybe felt that. And I looked at him and I said, what have we been doing in Sunday school? Remind yourself that. Remind yourself of that. When I am afraid, I put my trust in you and live firmly on that word. I can do all things through Christ who gives me strength. Trust in the Lord and lean not on your own understanding. All of these things have kind of pieced together to pave the way of a solid rock that we need to hold onto. We need to remind ourselves of be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid, for the Lord your God is with you. Remind yourself of those verses when you are feeling overwhelmed, when you are hitting test week and you just feel like you don't know which way to turn. Be strong and courageous, for the Lord your God is with you. Let's end in prayer. Lord Jesus, thank you that there are so many verses in the Bible which remind us of the truth 
of what you want us to feel, of what you want us to be reminded of, of who you are, of how you take care of us and protect us, and, and you've got us. So as we go through these next few weeks and even into next term of just delving more into scripture and the things that you want to share with us, this is your word and we need to learn it. I just pray that more and more minds would be open to just understanding the truth that lies in the pages of the Bible and that everyone who listens to these messages would be, be able to just constantly focus on these scriptures and remind themselves of them when they need it most. We pray this in and through your name. Amen.